Butterflies symbolize transformation, and their release symbolizes the freedom this 37-acre Haven for Hope expects to achieve for thousands of individuals. Our goal for the homeless is dignity and redemption. San Antonio is not a wealthy city, but we are rich in compassion. To make the facility a reality, former Mayor Phil Hardberger tapped energy exec Bill Grehe to lead the project. Grehe says the campus's approach isn't just to get homeless off the streets, but get them integrated back in society. And the world is watching. Representatives from 45 countries have inquired or even visited San Antonio's ambitious project. And obviously, none of this would have happened without the support of so many. It was truly a community effort. The Haven begins accepting single men in a few weeks into this dorm. Women and families will follow. Ten at a time, they're expected to fill the living quarters here. And besides a place to stay and a bite to eat, the homeless will get much needed medical and psychological treatment. The kind of one-stop shop that normally only exists at the county jail. A jail whose burden is expected to be relieved when the doors of Haven for Hope open. Spend it on the jail or help spend it here and save a life. When we spend it on the jail, many times we make a person worse than he was before he went in.